Hey, this is Russ. I'm going to tell you everything that happened on my knee. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I decided to go through my log of physical therapy. Yeah, I kept a log and uh, kind of looked at all my videos to see what were the highlights of my knee replacement. So if you'll stay tuned with me to the end, I'm going to tell you everything that's happened to me up to this point. <laughs> all right. So let's start from the very beginning. Now I'm looking at some notes that are behind my camera, so it's gonna look like I'm looking off screen here, but uh, that's okay, all right? So uh, January 25th of 2005, okay, that's how far we're going back. My left knee had torn meniscus and I needed to get that scoped out. So my doctor, who's the same doctor who worked on my knee for the knee replacement, okay, he scoped out my knee at that point, all right? And then I went through physical therapy, it took me, I don't know, a month and a half or so until I felt like I was doing decent and I was pretty much done with it. Okay, so it wasn't too bad. So March 10th of 2009, okay, just four years later, I did a right knee torn meniscus. <laughs> same doctor, same thing, but this time I did not go to physical therapy. So it took me twice as long to rehab the knee because I didn't do that. So that's when I learned never skip physical therapy you gotta go to physical therapy all right okay so now september 19th of 2019 i get the left knee total knee replacement all right this is the thing that started us on this whole journey all right so um after the the knee replacement my flexion was only hitting at the 70 degree ranges all right and it stayed there for pretty much the whole month. <laughs> it didn't go too much further than 70, maybe 71, 72, you know, that range. And I also got my first uh, uh, knee machine. So I got a CPM machine, continuous passive motion machine. That got delivered to me, I think, the day after the knee replacement. Yeah, because I stayed at the hospital overnight. So I came home and the CPM machine was delivered to me. All right. So that would be... Uh, September 20th of 2019 when I got the CPM machine. All right, a month later, um, this would be the uh, October 22nd, 2019, I get my first MUA. So this is only a little bit after one month because I wasn't getting anything more than 70 degree range, all right? And immediately after the MUA, I was getting in the operating room 130 degrees of flexion and zero degrees of extension, okay? But Going to physical therapy, which was only, I think, a couple hours later, <laughs> right? I had to go to physical therapy. Uh, my flexion was down to 97 degrees, all right? And it really didn't move any further from 97 degrees for an entire month. <laughs> so even though the doctor got 130, I got 97. And extension wasn't too good, but I didn't really keep track of what the numbers really was, okay? So um, on... Uh, a month or so later, uh, November 9th, I fall outside of Costco. <laughs> yeah, we were outside. I was using my mobility scooter and putting the scooter back into the trunk. Um, I uh, could feel my knee giving out. And so as I'm lifting the, the scooter parts into the trunk, I fall backwards with the scooter in my hand. <laughs> All right. Uh, nobody came out to help me. Um, you know, they saw me out there, uh, people and, you know, talking at their cars. They saw it all happen. They didn't do anything. Costco employee comes running over. My wife came running over and um, I got helped up. So thank you to my wife and to the Costco employee. No thank you to those who saw me and didn't do a thing. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Um, in uh, uh, November 15th, um, just a few days later, I get my jazz knee unit. Okay, this is the first time I got the Jazz Knee Unit, and I get it for two months, all right? So, uh, November 19th, I get a second MUA done, because I asked the doctor if we did a second MUA, would I get a better range, and he agreed to do it. So, uh, again, he got 130 degrees and zero degrees for extension, but in the hospital during physical therapy times, I was only able to get between 108 and 112 degrees. So even though the doctor can get you to 130, that's under an anesthesia, by the time I wake up, I'm getting <laughs> 108 and 112, all right? Um, the very next day, this would be November 20th of 2019, uh, I get radiation done on my left knee, okay? And the reason is because the doctor felt uh, bone 
the bone could grow and it, it could cause little uh, spurs and burrs or whatever they want to call it. Um, and he said, if we kill that off, maybe it'll be less pain. So we do radiation on my knee. Okay. Now, after doing all this, I go to physical therapy. All right. And I'm, uh, instead of getting 108 and 112, I'm getting 90 degrees now. <laughs> so it's dropped quite a bit. All right. Um, but uh, this is uh, uh, passive, meaning that I am uh, pulling back on my own. In other words, no one's pushing me. I'm pulling back on my own. I'm getting about 90 degrees. But uh, with the uh, help of the physical therapist, I'm getting 105 degrees. So it really it went from 108 to 112 down to 105, okay, in just one day, all right? So it's not too good. Um, by the 25th of the month, November 25th, 2019, um, my passive uh, my passive range was 96, and again, passive meaning I'm pulling back on my own. Uh, actively meaning they're pushing me. I'm getting 110. All right. By December 6th, okay, I'm getting a passive range of 103 with an active of 110. So uh, actively being pushed, I'm still hanging around 110. By no, uh, December 16th. They begin strapping me down with the strap. And I mentioned this once before that, you know, as they're pushing me, um, I'm trying to get away from them. So I'm kind of hiking up the incline of the, of the table, right? So we figured the best way to do this going forward was to strap me down. So they physically take a strap and lock me down to the table, right? And I was getting a passive uh, range of 95 and an active of 107, okay? So uh, a couple days later, December 16th, I returned the CPM machine back to the company that rented it to me. So the CPM machine is gone, but I still have the jazz. Okay. Um, December 27th to uh, January 1st, I take a break from all physical therapy. And the reason is because I'm waiting for the insurance company to authorize my next year's uh, physical therapy. And we, I, in my program, I get, uh, how many do I get? I get uh, 60, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. Man, I've, I'm totally forgetting all this stuff. I, I didn't find that part out. <laughs> uh, I think I get 60 per year, something like that. And that's for everything. That's including other things that happen to you besides your knee. Okay, But uh, it was a new authorization company, so we had to wait until they got their act together. <laughs> and it took a whole week. So um, I was uh, getting during the break, right after the break, okay, passively I went to 100 degrees and actively to 115. So the break actually gave me a little bit more range. <laughs> uh, I think it just needed a little bit of uh, space to, to uh, recuperate, all right? And so um, January 10, um, I'm back at PT. My passive range is 101, but I'm actively pushed now to 120. So this is the first time I actually hit 120 degrees, which is the range that most doctors tell you that they want you to be at, okay? So that's January 10th, okay? Um, January 15th, I return to jazz unit. So the jazz unit is gone. January 24th, passively, I'm getting 106 now and actively still at about 121. So I'm not getting much range. By uh, February 11th, um, it would have been my 70th physical therapy session. Uh, passively, I'm getting 108. So it's slowly getting up there by myself. And actively, I'm pushed to 124. All right. Um, a couple days later, February 14th, 2020, we break the physical ta uh, therapy table. <laughs> So Jim is pushing me, and then uh, we hear the whole thing just crack, <laughs> right? So we, we kind of messed up the, uh, the gear ratio thing, the automatic gearing system of the, of the table. And uh, he tells me uh, later on that they, they don't push people on that table anymore because we broke it. <laughs> so anyways, I got a passive of 108 and an active of 124. Um, I'm sorry. Um, when we broke the table, 112 passively, active 122. So I actually went down passively. And then finally, in uh, February 21st, okay, um, I finally hit 130 degrees when he pushes me. Passively, I'm still at 112. On uh, February 26th, I joined a community gym, okay? But then I ended up having to, to stop the community gym a couple weeks later because COVID-19 stuff started happening, right? Um, so 
at physical therapy, I am still hang, hanging around 112 passively and 130 actively, okay? And my last physical therapy session was March 6th of 2020. Uh, we didn't measure at that point, but it was the last time I was able to go because of the uh, pandemic, okay? So I announced to, uh, to everybody that um, on the 16th, I made a video saying I'm no, no longer going to physical therapy, okay? By, uh, so this is March 16th. By Jan uh, July 14th, I announced that I'm getting a jazz unit for extension because jazz contacted me, asked me how I was doing, and I told them what was happening, and then we made the agreement that they would give me a jazz unit to use. In exchange, I would be testing the units for them um, with some modifications they've done to it uh, in exchange for payment. <laughs> right? So uh, they get something out of it, I get something out of it as well. So that was um, July 14th. By uh, August 9th, I, I asked Jazz for a flexion unit as well because my flexion was actually going backwards. I took a measurement, and um, I think I was down to 104 um, at that point. So uh, they give me back a, a unit for flexion. That's how I ended up with two Jazz units. Okay, They did not want me messing with the modification of changing it over because they they had moved my um, extension unit to a inner section which makes it tougher to to change i'd have to change a lot of stuff in order to modify it so they decided the best thing would be is to have a separate flexion unit and a separate extension unit to do it okay um by uh the 14th of august I'm, i make the announcement that i am forgetting the pain okay so i'm forgetting how pain feels because I don't really feel the pain anymore. I just feel, um, you know, it's, it's more of a nuisance than it is a pain. Okay. Um, on, uh, what, where are we at here? October 13th, I make a video showing me walking. So if you want to see me walking, okay, look for a video that came out, um, uh, October 13th. I think it's, it's around number four. 54, 53, something like that, because I number all my videos for knee replacement. So look, look in that range. You'll see me. There's, you'll see a video that says I'm walking, okay, without a cane. Um, by uh, October 29th, I go to the dentist for the first time since the pandemic, and uh, this is when I find out that I'm going to have to be taking medication <laughs> every time I see them, right? So um, yeah, it's first time doing that, and then. Um, I returned to Jazz Unit for the extension on January 16th of 2021, all right? So I stopped my extension things with the Jazz, and then I take a break from everything. So I'm not doing any type of uh, work on my knee at all. I decided I needed a little bit of a breather, okay? And by January 30th, I start up again on the Flexion Unit with the Jazz, and that brings us to current date. So. You can see there's a lot of stuff that's gone on for quite a bit of time, and yet I'm still dealing with my knee. Uh, I'm not done with this thing. I know it's going to take a while, so <laughs> stay with me. Hopefully, you learned a little bit of how long this thing takes just by looking at the history that way. Now, you know, I think I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can come up with some type of graphic or something like that. So rather than having to repeat so many things all the time. Um, with every knee video that I make, maybe what I can do is I can flash on the screen a little bit of the main things that people need to know, you know, like when you started the, 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 the PT, when you had your knee surgery. Um, and then I'll just flash it on the bottom corner and leave it up for a while. And then I can continue talking about other things. And I think, I think we'd all benefit from that. What do you think? <laughs> Otherwise, we waste time just talking about the history all the time. But I, I know that the history has to be said because there are new people who join us on, on my channel and they don't know what's going on unless I tell them. So, uh, and I know they're not gonna go through 100 and something videos, although I, I appreciate it if you do. <laughs> uh, I know that not everyone's gonna do that. So I think I'll make a, a quick history, pop it down on the screen going forward, okay? So you'll probably see that on most of the knee replacement videos going forward, but I think on the long run, we'll be happier that way, <laughs> all right? Anyways, I appreciate just hanging around and listening to all this stuff that's happened to me so far. And if you like the video, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button too, because that does help me. <laughs> you know, talk so much, you can't, the words don't come out too well sometimes. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys next time.